hey guys, with fish moving up into the shallows right now in some parts of the country, you know, they're starting to bed, they're starting to go into pre-spawn in some places. My area, they're straight up, you know, still in 40 degree water, so they're not doing much of anything. So a finesse rig that is not seen very often is super important. I'm talking about the Mojo rig. So this rig is essentially a Carolina rig or Texas rig, but done finesse, right? So we're using eight pound fluorocarbon, maybe 12 pound if you're feeling, you know, feeling kind of lucky. Um, using eight ounce weights, you know, that, and that's pretty heavy for this technique. So what we have here is essentially a drop shot weight, um, cylinder style weight, that is bored out, you know, it's got a hole in it. So that's what we're doing, we're using these. Like so we're throwing this on eight to 12 pound line, you know, nice light thing, nice light weight, four aught EWGs. I prefer a worm hook, so I'm using usually a stick bait. Um, you know, this is a Gorilla Shiv. That's my go-to for this. And bobber stops. Um, everything we need here, I'll put in the description down below so you guys can check that out as always. But uh, let's dive into this. All right, so here we're gonna begin with our weight. So there are two main styles you usually approach. You'll have the style that has this line pass-through device or just a basic weight. Um, for simplicity's sake right now, we're gonna use this because this style, more often than not, you'll get hung up in it and it'll be a giant pain in the butt. That being said, a lot of times this style, you can pull your line through with it, you know, let it sit, crimp it down, or cut these off and you don't have to use the bobber stops. So you have that option as well. Another option is those rubber toothpicks a lot of steelhead guys use for beads. Not a bad way to go. But we're gonna start with passing the line through the hole you know, I'm using braided line for this demonstration. Usually I said you use fluorocarbon, eight to 12 pounds, nothing crazy because you're fishing pretty shallow. I mean, you're fishing 15 feet in shallower. So, you know, you, you wanna make sure you have a nice light line for these really finicky fish. So then we're gonna use two bobber stops. These are basic rubber bobber stops. Nothing special to them, they're really cheap. You can get them just about anywhere. So first one, now I wanna use two. You know, you can get away with one, that being said, I've had times where you'll fight that weight and fight the stops. A lot of times, you know, they just, they want to move on you, right? So you're, you're getting into it, you're seeing a fish, you throw at that fish, well, you threw really hard and now that weight is banging against the bobber stop or your toothpick or whatever, and they're moving. So the biggest thing here is just kind of being careful, paying attention to what you're doing, and, uh, and if you can use these and double up on them. So once I have that on, I'm gonna tie a snell knot to my hook. Like I said, you know, I prefer a worm hook just because I'm crazy like that, right? I like my worm hooks. Um, I've had good luck with them, especially for these thinner profile baits like Senkos, um, finesse worms, you know, things like that. Now if I'm throwing a fluke on this rig, I'll throw a 4i EWG so I have a little more bite to it because of the larger body. So a big reason why you want to tie a stall knot with this is you want to make sure that that hook is always pointed up, right? You don't want that weight and hook buried into the bottom of the lake. So you want to make sure that you've got this point up. You know, when you can leave it exposed like that, but usually I'll bury that because I like throwing this around grass. I like throwing it around you know, a lot of a lot of dirty stuff, a lot of mud. But uh, that's kind of what we're working with, guys. You know, something like that, something essentially a finesse Carolina rig. But if you guys like this or anything else that we've been doing, please like our video, please subscribe. Uh, it's down below. As always, guys, have a good one and good luck on the water. <laughs>